bar 16, and uh, the inspiration for the 2012 Edinburgh International Festival came from an extraordinary coincidence. The coincidence of this great festival and another great event, the London Olympic Games, being held a week apart. Every single year since 1947, um, a whole an astonishing array of artists have been glorifying their own cultures on the stages of Edinburgh in August. In Ingolston this year we have a really cutting edge program of works that not only literally do not fit in conventional theatres, but are themselves extraordinary contributions to the idea of theatre. Well, what continues to excite me about the Edinburgh International Festival is partly that word international, that sense that you can be getting work from all over the world, not just in terms of global reach, but also in terms of the quality of the stuff that you see, so it continually can surprise you. culture comes in many forms and uh, we have great expression and uh, we've got great stories to tell but we also it's important that we tell the world's stories and I think that's what's so important about the Edinburgh International Festival. Macbeth! My Culture is taking an increasingly important part of, of, of the communities that we define for ourselves. The great thing about having a, a dialogue with cultural ministers at the festival is that mostly politicians get to talk about these things at a distance. The role of the Culture Summit is to explore ideas about cultural diplomacy, to understand how we can help support arts and culture across the globe and how, how culture can help nations speak to each other. I think that because the whole city resonates with the spirit of festivity, that is possibly the closest I can get to suggesting as to why Edinburgh is the great place for festivals and most especially in August.